What's up, Chess Familia? Welcome back to the grind. Okay, we're playing as Black today against Matribo from France. France. Cool, cool. Yeah, I gained a little bit of elo in the last game. Uh, unfortunately, the opponent abandoned the game. Kind of a bummer. Kind of a lame way to win elo, but what can you do? Oh, he does this variation. Okay. I haven't seen this one yet. Hmm. I think I have to push C5 here. Hmm, I could be wrong, but... I haven't seen this variation here. Maybe the idea is just to take, just to take here at this point. And what sucks about this is I can't really get my knight out, can't really get my bishop out to a good spot, and I can't really open up uh, squares for my dark square bishop either. I'm almost tempted to, like, do one of these. Maybe c5 is just the idea here. Hmm. That's a really lame move. D7. Hmm. Could always just trade off and try to simplify a little bit. Actually, if we just take, I can win his pawn, right? Isn't that the idea? Or no, right? Because he takes with the... Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Um, I actually like this because I can get my knight out now. I need to be really careful about his bishop sort of. Um, attacking the rook at some point. This is just a plain attack on his bishop too, so he's going to be forced to fall back somewhere. I do have a useless check here. I need to get my light square bishop out, but I just don't want to put it on d7. And e6 is just such a lame square too. I guess f5 is kind of a forced move here. The nice part about um, him going f3 is he can't really develop his knight until like its natural square. So I'm actually just going to play f5 here. This seems okay. I have to be really careful not to push c5 here because this pawn and this rook are going to drop. If I do. Okay. We'll just get the dark square bishop out onto f7. That's probably reasonable at this point. I'd actually be okay to just trade off light square bishops here. I think after castle, I'm just going to offer the exchange of light square bishops. Interesting. Hmm. Do I castle or do I do I offer the trade here? We're on move eight, so maybe I do still have the time to just trade off for castling. I'm just going to castle. <laughs> I 
I was hoping not to see that. Uh, I think I should have went for the trade. Eh, it feels bad. Hmm. Now I'm just playing losing on e4. Eh, it kind of sucks. Hmm. Yeah, I can't even trade on g4 now because this queen is hurling this way too. Ideas. Try to find the move here. Queen d6, maybe something a little unconventional. Could always go protect the bishop this way instead of ruining the pawn chain. I kind of would like to get the queen onto d6, get the dark square bishop onto c7, and then just boom. If he's going to go for the trade so early. Just going to try this. Okay, so that's forced. The dark square bishop is still protected here, so. I'm honestly just gonna try. This is a bit of a risk play, but it's basically mate in two. Maybe not quite mate, but we'll see. It's a risk move, but I'm willing to take this risk. I feel like it's going to uh, force his pawns to get into bad positions. Like if he, pus if he pushes h3 and g3, uh, I feel like it's just going to weaken his structure a lot. So I'm just going to try this. Once his king goes onto the E file here, I always have a check this way. Okay, so he does notice. Yeah, so he does go um, H3 and G3, which like, it's not great looking. <laughs> so at this point, I can probably just start to develop my pieces off and maybe even start trading off um, some pieces in the center here and just trying to sneak my queen sort of up into this side of the board. We connect the rooks here. Okay, he wants to attack my queen. I think it's actually a good move. I think this actually just loses... Um, I think I just lost my queen, right? Ah, damn. I just lose my queen. Oh, man, I think I just lost a piece because of this move. Kind of feels bad. Hmm. It does feel bad. I think I have to block this in. Oh dang, even 
Yeah, I think I have to... I think I have to sacrifice a piece here. Hopefully he takes with the pawn so we can just trade off. Yeah, so not the end of the world, but it's not awesome either. Yeah, that was a really good move by him going over there. So I think he's just going to be up two piece or up a piece or up two pieces. No, I basically just have to defend this uh, bishop and the knight. Well, I guess the bishop just needs a defender, right? Maybe not the best idea to put the queen on the same file as the rook there, but I think it should be okay. Yeah, so he's just up one piece. That was a really good move by him. He was able to recognize that the queen got trapped there, so that's good. I still want to work the queen over to h3 somehow. Maybe I just start throwing pawns up the up this side of the board and see how he responds. <laughs> hmm. The knight's in a really poor spot. I have to find a better spot for the knight. I think just for the time being, I'll put a rook on the same file as his queen. Okay, so he's looking to kind of grab this pawn here. I'm actually okay with just pushing this pawn and then taking f4 with the queen. If he doesn't take, it's going to be very good for me. If he lets me grab both of these pawns... I see, I see. Hmm. I think it's pawn storm time. What are we going to do? Is it pawn storm time? That's the question. <laughs> uh. Hmm. I gotta get this knight off of this goofy square. It's just so bad here.
Interesting. So he gets a check here if I let him take. So he might as well just trade off. I think he has to figure out which piece he wants to take with there. Mm, this is actually not bad for me. I think I'm going to be winning his queen potentially here. So boom, 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 boom. That's how I see this happening. Um, I think it's okay. If he takes with the pawn, I take his queen. I guess he could take this other pawn. But either way, I could win two pawns out of this with this one pawn. So I think we kind of just won, like, at least a single pawn. Hmm. Could always attack his queen this way, too. That nah, just loses a pawn. I have to be really careful here so he has check I'm forced to move my queen oh no no no, no. no let me see yeah because if he checks I can just take his rook there I think I'm still in good hands if he takes this pawn, um, my queen is protecting here, and then I can attack his bishop at the same time. So I want to protect. Maybe I don't need to protect this pawn anymore. Things okay. I need to make an escape square for my king. Um, trade off. I don't quite want to trade off, but I think it's forced, right? And uh, it sucks. I can't really give check here either. Yeah, I don't want to play down a piece. So. I want to get my queen onto the back rank. I think that's what I'd like to do. Yeah, winning this... Winning this with him having an extra bishop is going to be really hard. And plus he's going to win um, an extra pawn right now too. I don't know, I just have to do something else. Yeah, I have to find a way to stay in it. He's got these three squares covered on the back rank too, so I can't really infiltrate that way. Still need to protect this pawn as well. Hmm. Where is the move? I don't know. I don't want to lose too much time. So. so he has one pawn under attack. Maybe I just go and defend it, honestly, at this point.
Yeah, I think I have to start bringing my king's pawns into the game. Okay. Oh no, I just lost that pawn. That sucks. Hmm. I should be able to win a pawn once I go uh, d3. Yeah, I'm winning this pawn. Bare minimum. Unless he doesn't move his bishop, which would be weird. I can't believe he still has 14 minutes. That's crazy. He's been spending like no times on his moves. I think the longest he spent was like a minute. That's crazy. Me over here on the other span, on the other hand, spending two minutes <laughs> for like four moves. <laughs> I think it had to be done though. Okay. okay, so he has two defender or uh, two attackers on that square right there. What's something more pressing that I could do? suppose I could give him check, but he just takes it. It's not that great. Mm. Let's see, what can I do? I think I just have to let these two pawns go, try to win with these three. Hmm. Bit unfortunate, bit unfortunate. Yeah, he takes f7 here. Takes f7. I'm kind of forced to go like g6. Can't really do anything else. I don't want to uh, put my king on the h file because I'm basically just blocked in here. Yeah, that sucks. And I can't protect this pawn. <laughs> Because I'm on this square here, so I have to just start trading off. Uh, maybe I just try to open up this way. Suppose I could try to attack his more valuable piece too. Actually, no, this is a. Uh, D3 would be like a deadly move. He just forks, and I basically lose. Yeah, I have to pr I have to attack his bishop. I think I might have to trade pawns off here as well. So I can get my king onto like sort of a open h file without his pawn attacking h5.
I honestly think there is a little bit of hope in this game. It's pretty slim, but I think it's there. He made he played that really nice move where he got his dark square bishop, I think it was on to f4, and then he basically trapped my queen in on d6. That was a really good move by him. The game basically just like swung in his favor after that. So, uh, so check. Okay, so. Yeah, this is a bit rough. If I go f6, I'm losing a pawn. Either way, I'm losing this pawn, aren't I? I think I just have to go this way. I think he'll take with the bishop. I probably should have got my rook behind this b pawn. Yeah, I don't even know why he's, like, thinking twice about this. <laughs> yeah, he's going to promote this uh, pawn on the H file. Oh, rough. Oh, I think he should have taken the pawn personally. Uh, he'll probably take it now. I guess I should have defended that pawn, huh? Yeah, I probably should have done that. A bit silly. It's going to be really hard to win, but you never know. He did just block himself in. That's cool. It'll be a miracle if I can turn this game around. I do have a check, but it just seems worse. I could try to protect, but I don't know. Oh, good thing I didn't take that. <laughs> oh, I can't even attack that. I don't even know why I'm there. I could try to go pin his uh, bishop. Nope. Here's a no, that's not even a little double attack there. Actually, he should have just taken this, he would have won the rook as well. Yeah, so I can't keep my king and my rook on the same rank. Yeah, he actually made a, played a really big blunder there. Well, I played a blunder first, and then he followed up with a better blunder. Yeah, he had g5, check, king has to move, he takes the rook, and the game's basically his. Yeah, a bit of a blunder on his part.
I'm gonna fight this to the last move. <laughs> when I lose my rook, I'll give up. Yeah, I got too carried away with trying to find that early check with a uh, queen on h2. That was a little bit too too premature. I think if I could have avoided playing that, I would have been in a better spot. Eh, it's a bit of a bummer. There's the move. Free pawn, thank you. <laughs> we take these. Mm -hmm. There is some possibilities here. So he takes, he's going to promote this pawn. So. Ah, uh, still don't think I can get this pawn in time. Yeah, he just takes. Uh, it's too bad I can't get my king on e3. That's unfortunate. Uh, I think he really should have taken that. <laughs> but that's just me. Okay. Uh, I kind of did myself a disservice there. That was a really bad move. Yeah, that was a really bad move. I think I just have to trade off, huh? Either way, he's promoting. Yeah, I'm like four moves away from taking this pawn. It's unfortunate. Yeah, I shouldn't have blocked my king in from going this way. Yeah, it's a bit of a bummer, but I think it's just time to trade off and call it quit. I'd be shocked if he doesn't take this. Yeah, now he just promotes and it's GG. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, GG. GG. Yeah. Yeah, oh well. We tried. We tried, we tried. Yeah, I think the best move he played was bishop f4, trapping the queen. That was just really good. Um, I won't labor this too much. I'll just resign. I don't want to waste this time. But uh, yeah, GG. Matribu. Very good game. Let's do the review. I think the advantage fell apart. Yeah, I made that one blunder. Yeah, that way, yeah, he found it. 
I just did not see the queen getting trapped here that hard. But man, yeah, I should have. Yeah, it's a bummer. I, I didn't see this move coming. That was really good. Yeah, I got too carried away with this idea here. Um, I should have just played soundly, soundlier, and just developed the pieces earlier. But uh, yeah, really, really good move by him uh, being able to spot this. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, he just had this file controlled. Honestly, maybe... Yeah, I don't even know what I could have done here. I basically blocked off the one escape my queen had, right? So if I would have went here and he went here, I could have at least ran back. So then it would have been much more even. But, um, I mean, it looks like I tried to hold on. <laughs> I just couldn't find a good move after that. Uh, he played really well, so what can I say? But, yeah, let's just do the game review here. Looks like that was the idea. Looks like f5 was another idea as well. Okay, so going to d6 with the bishop was the better idea. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess sort of no matter what he ends up playing, this would have forced his pawns into this structure here, right? Yeah. Bishop d7. Hmm. Moving the bishop back. Yeah, I should have done that, huh? Cool, yeah. Yeah, just not the right idea. I got... I got way too hung up on this idea here. And yeah, man, this was just such a killer move. What can I do? Taking. Yeah, even then, maybe that was less damaging. <laughs> uh, taking the bishop. Hmm. Yeah, feels bad, feels bad. I tried, I really tried. I really tried to find something. There was, I just couldn't find anything. Yeah, was there any better moves here? Queen d6. Mm, sure. So just protecting this pawn at the same time. He still had such a big advantage, though. Protecting the pawn was the play. Uh, a bit of a blunder here, but I felt like I was losing a pawn here no matter what because he had two attackers uh, pointing towards this pawn. So kind of no, ma no matter what I did here, I was going to be losing. I mean, the best I could hope for is like he takes this way, but I don't think that was going to happen. Hmm. Yeah, rook a7 was a good move. Attack his bishop, sure. Yeah, he was finding really good moves. What can I say? Yeah, I made one blunder here. I should have fallen back to protect the h-pawn here. Uh, my rook wasn't under attack, so this would have prevented one more pawn from falling. So my bad there. That was a blunder. And then, yeah, he protects his pawn. He was just keeping all of his pieces in check. I will say, though, the one really bad move that he made was here. He had the potential to take, um, lose his bishop, but gain my rook in the process. So that was like the one move he could have done that would have been a bit better. Yeah, this was just a really bad move here. Now, uh, rookie one. Okay. Okay, and then. Rook g1. Oh, shark sure. takes, takes. Yeah. yeah, it was basically over at this point. Probably not much sense in going through the whole review, but uh, yeah, he played well. Lesson of the day is uh, don't get so hung up on like early, easy uh, 
cheesy checks and just play soundly and develop the pieces normally. <laughs> I think that's what got me this time. So anyways, yeah, GG, Metribu, and see you guys in the next game.